Life isn't about the two weeks that you spend on holiday, in the sun, on the beach. Life is about what are you doing the other 50 weeks of the year? What are you doing day to day? Because it's those days that determine the quality of life that you're living. I used to have a very boring schedule. I used to work the nine to five, an office job, and I would go home at about five, 6 p.m. and I would just watch Netflix until I went to bed at night. Now I feel like my routine is a lot more interesting and healthier. And and I do a lot more sports now, I hang out with friends more, I have more meetings and meet just more interesting people in general. And so having made that transition, this is how you can level up your daily routine as well. I spend 15 minutes feeding the cats and cleaning the litter tray and vacuuming and then I leave the house as soon as I can. I think it's really important that I don't get lost in procrastination here. It's the most important part of the day when it comes to productivity because often if you have a productive morning then you'll very likely have a productive day. So this is my calendar for the day. I have four tasks to do. The most important task which I'm going to do first in the morning is in red and then my calendar I have quite a busy day I have three deep work sessions from 7 until 10 a.m. 1 till 3 p.m. and 7 till 9 p.m. and meetings kind of dotted in between and then swimming from 12 to 1 and that's a relatively standard day-to-day -day schedule so my daily routine, I wake up at 6 a.m. I leave the house at exactly 7 a.m., never after that. And I go straight to a coffee shop. The reason why I go to a coffee shop is I just prefer working at a coffee shop than an office. I can go into deep focus mode straight away a lot easier than I can an office. And I've kind of designed my life so that I'm working for myself. I can choose the hours that I work. I can choose the tasks that I do. I can choose where I work. And later in the afternoon, I'm gonna be going swimming at this swimming pool right here. I think one of the most powerful life hacks that no one really talks about is making a conscious effort to every day improve just one small thing continuously every single day of the year. I was watching an interview on YouTube a while ago now, and it was John Danaha, who's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and one of the top coaches in the world, and he explained it really well. Most people live day to day where the events of yesterday have no bearing on the events of today, and the events of today have no bearing on the events of tomorrow. And this means your life will simply run in a flat line until the day you die. But if we make a concerted effort to build one day upon another, even if it's just a very small thing. So on every one of these mundane days, we have to take one small little gem that happened. It may not be very big, something small, and add that to your performance tomorrow. If you take just one small action to make your day just that bit more interesting every day, if you improve bit by bit every day, then after a year, you'll start to see some massive compounding results. I just think most people's lives are boring because they're doing the same thing again and again and again. Maybe you're stuck in the rat race, maybe you're going to the gym seven days a week and it's like, that's fine, but how about switching it up every Tuesday and Thursday, right? Going to play tennis or going to yoga or swimming or just something a bit different. Or instead of watching Netflix on a nighttime, you learn a new skill for 20 minutes or you go out with friends or you just do something more interesting rather than the same mundane thing every single day. It's about quarter past 12 in the afternoon and I'm gonna go swimming now. Sometimes at this time I go to the gym, sometimes yoga, sometimes tennis, uh, and sometimes swimming. I think it's nice just to switch it up every now and then to keep things interesting. I also think a, a bit of a hack is exercising with friends as well because you're socializing, which is great for your mental health, but you're also exercising, which is great for your physical health. So you're kind of hitting two birds with one stone. And after this, I'm gonna get another deep work session in maybe two or three hours and then meet Fee from SVFS. So about an hour, or swimming and then I think 15 minutes in the sauna and 15 minutes in the sauna Bye. way too hot maybe how big how 80 degrees 80 degrees apparently so that was a sauna I could only film for 10 seconds because uh, that was way too hot it will help increase the metabolism and also get rid of the toxins in the skin so now I'm gonna have a quick shower and then jacuzzi and then I'm going back to work then I'm going back to work yeah, I think it's more than for ah. So 15 minutes in the jacuzzi, I'm not even going to pretend to know what the health benefits are. 
of being in a jacuzzi. As far as I'm concerned, it's relaxing, it's good for relieving stress, I guess. So 15 minutes and then I'm gonna head back to work. So I moved from the UK to Vietnam about 10 years ago and this weather, this weather right here is one of the main reasons why I love this place. I couldn't imagine going back to living in a country where six months of the year it's raining, it's windy, it's wet, it's cold. I really like the idea of designing your life, right? So if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? If you could have any job in the world, what job would you have? And then take actionable steps every day towards building that life that you dream of. From 1 p.m. to about 3 or 4 p.m. is when I do my deep work at home. So this weekend I'll be flying to Manila in the Philippines to speak at a conference and I'll be going through a presentation on how to grow on YouTube and how we grow our clients' channels over at my other company, Playstack. And Notion and Notion AI have helped me massively in putting this presentation together. So Notion, if you don't know, is a space where you can kind of capture thoughts, manage projects, or even run an entire company company and Notion AI is, as the name suggests, Notion's AI assistant that helps you think bigger and work faster. So Notion have sponsored this video, but I've been using Notion every single day for about three years now. I run my personal and business life from Notion for my entire YouTube schedule to notes for every meeting that we have. And as you can see from the menu bar on the left, I use Notion for pretty much everything, partly because it's great for team collaboration. So a lot of my team have access to these same pages. And Notion AI makes Notion even more useful. So I mentioned that I'm preparing for a presentation this weekend, AI has helped massively with idea generation. For example, in my short-term notes page within Notion, I can just press space to summon AI and write, give me five super interesting facts about YouTube. And it will give me five interesting facts about YouTube that I could use in my presentation. I use it for pretty much every single YouTube video title that I make. For example, I can write, Give me 10 powerful and clickable YouTube titles on how to have a more interesting and productive daily routine. And sure enough, it gives me 10 really quite decent titles. And if I don't like any of them, I can ask Notion AI to rewrite me another 10. It's also great for extracting action items from meeting notes, summarizing insights from research, or even correcting English or grammar mistakes, or even just improving writing in general, which has been huge for my company because I'm currently based in Vietnam, so many of our employees don't speak English as their first language. So using AI to check for English spelling or grammar mistakes before sending out content to a client has been super helpful. So if you do want to try Notion or Notion AI out, you can get started with Notion for free and unlock unlimited AI for only $10 a month. I'll drop a link in the description below. I feel like it's so important to surround yourself with people where you want to be in one year's time, three years time, 10 years time. I think that is so, so powerful. So it's 4 p.m. now, I'm gonna be meeting Fee for the first time. He's also a YouTuber. He's been posting Vietnamese lessons every week for seven years. And I think the consistency there is just incredible. I'm in Vietnam, so it makes sense that I learn Vietnamese. And I just think learning a new skill, dedicating time each day to learn something new, whether it's a language or an instrument or a craft or a hobby, I think that just makes life that little bit more interesting. Also starting a 30 day challenge. I did a write a book in 30 day challenge about two months ago and I've documented it over on my Instagram. I was posting stories every single day for 30 days. It's small things like that that just make your daily routine that bit more challenging but also that bit more interesting. It's 6 p.m. now and I'm focusing on the second most important task of the day. So the first most important task of the day I did in the morning and now I'm focusing on the second task which is preparing for the masterminds that I have tonight. There's two masterminds, one at 9 p.m., one at 10 p.m. and what a beautiful place to work. It's now coming up to 9 p.m., 10 to 9, 
and I'm going to be jumping on a mastermind call at nine o'clock. So a mastermind is basically a group of high level people come together about once a week to take advantage of the collective knowledge. So this mastermind, uh, one of my business partners will be running. And then I have another mastermind straight after that at 10 p.m. with Tech With Tim, who is a YouTuber, and he'll be talking about how he's made a million dollars on sponsorships. And then to end the day, I have one last call at 11 p.m. that will finish at 11.30, and that is with a YouTuber called Andy Yang. And at this time, I like to kind of reflect on what I've learned during the day. I don't use a journal. I know a lot of people do use a journal to kind of reflect on the day and consciously think about what you learned that day and maybe what you can kind of improve for the next day. Also 30 day challenges. I love 30 day challenges. I'm kind of brainstorming what my next 30 day challenge will be. I'm thinking something along the lines of a triathlon, but we'll see. But if you are interested in the last 30 day challenge that I did, so I was basically writing 1,500 words a day for 30 days. You can click on this video there to check that out. Super interesting video, at least in my opinion. And don't forget to check out this sponsor, Notion, link in the description below.